G'day Budgies and Wedgies and welcome back to the channel. Today is quite possibly one of the most exciting days in the fish room for me because I'm unboxing a group of fish that I've wanted for basically years on end. Ever since I set my eyes out on these fish, I've wanted them and the weird thing is I already do have three of them. However, the dream has always been to have a massive school of these uh, particular fish but Unfortunately, that just hasn't been possible for a wide variety of reasons. We'll go through that as well and show you what these really awesome fish are. Hint, the shirt actually does suit the color palette of these fish a little bit. But before we get into this video, as always, let's acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and the people that are managing our land. But I say enough talking and let's get into what these fish are. So about 10 or 11 minutes, uh, I'd say yeah, about 11 minutes ago, I received this box from none other than livefish.com.au that currently contains a school of 20 juvenile torpedo barbs. And this means I can add this 20 to my existing school of three to create a long-term dream of mine, which is to have a massive school of these fish. But before we crack open this box and see all the little fish and add them to their new aquarium, I want to go ahead and give a bit of a history lesson on one, my experience keeping torpedo barbs, how the journey has progressed in the aquarium industry, and really shed some light on the significance of these specific 20 juvenile torpedo barbs and why I think they'd be the perfect way to introduce yourself into keeping these absolutely beautiful fish. So it would have been about five or six years ago that I started off with a wild caught batch of four torpedo barbs. The year that I got these fish was the year that a ban was put in place to stop the wild capture of these fish. And I actually did have these four that I got as a juvenile, grew them up basically up until they reached adult size, and for some reason I sold them and the day they left my fish room, I immediately regretted that decision because I knew that from that point onwards I'd never be able to get a proper authentic wild caught batch of these torpedo barbs. And there was a few reasons why they were banned from being captured in the wild. And the main one, unfortunately, was the aquarium hobby, the hobby that we we're a part of. These fish quickly rose to global spotlight and because of that, they were actually being overfished in the wild. Once the ban got in place, their population also didn't really recover all that well. It didn't return to the population that it once was due to environmental reasons. The poor management of land, water pollution, and just a lot of other factors like that didn't really allow the best success for this fish to return back to its normal populations. However, because that ban is still in place up until today's date, it's really good. The population is making a slow return. However, from there, there was a pretty big absence of getting torpedo barbs because they weren't being bred naturally in captivity. And it wasn't up until only a few years ago that breeding these fish in captivity became possible through the use of breeding hormones. From there, there was a pretty big surplus of these fish, yet they still really weren't that affordable and it just wasn't practical to get a massive school of these fish given how expensive they were. It was anywhere between 40 to even $80 a single fish and to get a school of 20 just wasn't all that really possible. And for some reason, I found that there wasn't really that much of a success rate in the juveniles following those few years. And I'm not sure if this was the breeding method, if the hormones had anything to do with the fry being produced or if it was the parents that were selected for breeding, but it was basically a 50% death rate in any batch that you got. I experienced that where I got four, two of them died, I got six, three of them died, and a lot of other aquarists that I researched or talked to um, prior to actually making this video, just to recollect why that may have happened, all experienced the same thing. And that really didn't give me high hopes for getting torpedo barbs again. However, this time around, lifefish.com.au has managed to source 20 locally bred torpedo barbs, meaning they were bred here in Australia, which is amazing, because they don't go through the stresses of being imported or flown into Australia, moving from tank to tank to tank as juveniles, which would cause stress. All of those kinds of things are completely thrown out the picture. And these 20 are locally bred here in Australia at such a fantastic price, which, I think has never been done before and I gotta say a massive hats off to livefish.com.au for doing that. But I've talked enough about these fish, let's actually see them and then add them to the aquarium, talk about them a little bit more. Yeah, sorry budgies and widgets, I've just sent you a little bit far back just because it's a bit of a danger hazard being near me when I'm gonna be this excited opening these fish. <laughs> but uh, let's get the box open. Tape has already been cut and um, we also do have a heat pack included. Um, if you're not sure as to why, you know, if you do order a box of fish and there's heat pack included, 
This has been shipped from interstate. It's pretty cold here in Victoria where I am at the moment. And these are a tropical fish. So to make sure that, you know, they aren't, uh, you know, going through any temperature fluctuations, a heat pack is included to make sure they have the best chance of survival. Livefish.com.au also do this amazing thing where, firstly, there's a beautiful little thank you letter and they include some details as to how to un uh, unbox and acclimate your fish when you receive them, which is really great. It's included in every single box and I know it can be pretty daunting when you're unboxing a box of fish for the first time ever, you know, that's being shipped to your doorstep, but they've got all of that to really ease you into the process. Now, ah, oh, it's moment of reveal, <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a rubber stand. Let's get that out of the way. And there's a, oh, I see them. They're so small, they're so adorable. I can't, but I have to. Ah, uh, okay, ah. Uh. Oh my God. They are the most cutest things. You probably can't see anything there right now, but oh, they're the most cutest things I've ever seen. And so there's four in this, bag, I was about to say box, there's four in this bag which I assume there's four, eight, however math works, there's 20. <laughs> so, oh, that's really awesome. All right, um, I'm going to take you through a detailed acclimation process. I don't really go through this in my unboxing videos, but I want to show you everything that you need to do to get the best chance of survival for these fish, which Again, I'm going to document everything about how these fish do, full transparency, if I lose one, if I lose the entire batch, so that way you know, with full confidence, if you want to get torpedo barbs, this will be the way to go. But, let's get to acclimating these fish, and uh, we'll go through all of that now. Now, before the torpedo barbs go into my main four-foot display aquarium, I want to add them into this 70-litre observation tank for a good few weeks. And there's a few reasons for that. The main one is I want to make sure they're all healthy, they're all feeding, and they get used to my presence and my water parameters. And secondly, I also do want to make sure that they put on a little bit more size before they enter my main display as well. And that way I know that they're going to be healthy long term as I switch them between aquariums. So the main thing I'm going to do when acclimating these fish is firstly temperature acclimate them by floating them in the water for about 15 to 20 minutes. From there, I'm going to drip acclimate them so that way they get used to the water parameters that are in this aquarium and the water parameters that they came from so it'll be a smooth transition when they get added into this tank. Twenty minutes later. So it's been just over three weeks since the little torpedo barbs were added into their 70 litre holding aquarium. To make sure they don't develop any stress related diseases like ick, I put in a little bit of methylene blue into the aquarium. And I'll be honest, I was definitely expecting some losses. I was expecting anywhere from four to five fish to definitely pass away. But I can confirm that all 20 are still absolutely thriving. Now I've never had to do a quarantine process with any of the fish that I've purchased from livefish.com.au. All of the fish, and you can see this in every single unboxing that I've done, but I'll unbox the fish and add them directly into the main display because just the, the quality of the fish that livefish.com.au have gives me total confidence. But given the previous experiences I've had with torpedo barbs, I just wasn't really sure, but I know that going forward, any of the fish that I purchased from them 
I don't even have to worry about it because all 20 of these torpedoes are still doing absolutely amazingly and they are in my four foot shallow display aquarium. I don't see any weak fish from the batch. I don't see any signs of them slowing down in growth. All of them have a fantastic feeding response and they have such beautiful natural torpedo bar behavior, which is exactly what I wanted to experience. Walking into the fish room and seeing this big school of 20 even though they're still pretty small, is just a long, long-term dream. And uh, it just means so much to me that I've finally been able to have not only torpedo barbs in general, but healthy, thriving torpedo barbs. And if you are looking to get some of these beautiful fish, which I'd highly recommend if you've got a large enough aquarium, then make sure you do go ahead and check out these torpedo barbs sourced out by livefish.com.au. Now, as always, the amazing team at livefish.com.au did provide an exclusive discount code. It's perfect since we are nearing Christmas, the festive season. So if you're looking at gifting yourself some of these beautiful fish or gifting anyone else some fish for their aquariums for Christmas, then this would be the perfect opportunity for you. The exclusive discount code is BODGY, D-E-C-22, and it's only gonna be valid up until the end of December. It will give you 10% off store-wide so you can get these Primo Torpedo Barbs at an even crazier price than they already are listed at, along with any other fish, plant, product on the website, and free shipping as well. That is absolutely nuts because it's almost like you going to an aquarium store and coming back without even worrying about shipping cost or the time because you can do all of it from the comfort of your very own home and have the fish delivered directly to your doorstep. So I'd highly recommend you use this opportunity. I don't receive any kickback or anything like that from it. So it's not like a commission based code. It's purely for you amazing bodgies and widgies to use provided by the awesome team at Life fish.com.au. But that's essentially it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the progression of these torpedo barbs, I'd love if you could give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing because the vast majority of you that watch my videos are not subscribed and I really appreciate it because it's free and you can opt out at any time. But that's essentially it. So as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay Aussie Australian, Bodgy and the Torpedo Barbs out.